Charles presented with a common problem in every dental office, occasional pain on the upper right side when biting. The large amalgam filling in the upper right first molar was the obvious culprit. It is apparent that once the old filling and decay are removed, a crown will be the necessary replacement. Before preparing the tooth, I take a preliminary impression with a quick setting bite material that will be used to make the temporary. After anesthetizing and applying the dam, we can see the large fillings and cracks in this tooth. The great white burr and electric hand piece makes quick work of the amalgam and decay removal. Once the filling is removed, the extent of the problem can easily be seen. There are deep cracks on the mesiolingual cusp and the proximal floor, and the buccal cusp is deeply undermined. These areas will have to be removed, and a buildup will be required, but first I'll check to make sure that the dark areas are stains and not decay. I'll be using Curare's Clear Fill Photocore PLT for the buildup. It's a light cured hybrid composite with a high filler content that allows me to place it without a matrix or a copper band. I choose Curare's Clear Fill Protect Bond for the bonding agent. I like Protect Bond's fluoride release and antibacterial cavity cleansing effect that assures little or no post op sensitivity. This technique is very simple. First, dry the tooth and apply Protect Bond primer for 20 seconds. Then gently blow air to lightly dry. Then apply Protect Bond. Distribute with a gentle air stream and light cure for 10 seconds. You'll really like using Clearfill Photocore PLT in the Unidose capsules. The applicator gun and the high viscosity Unidose applicator tips make the placement accurate and easy. Notice how the high filler content of Photocore offers the right amount of resistance to the plastic instrument without sticking to it. And again, there is no need to use a matrix because the material stays where I want it. Since this is a light cure composite, I have all the time I need to complete the placement of the material. Using a plasma arc light, this material will cure to a depth of nine millimeters in less than 10 seconds. After thoroughly curing the material from all sides, I'm ready to complete the preparation. It is in the preparation that you will really appreciate the superior quality of Photocore. It handles and cuts exactly like Denton. There is no gouging as you go from two structures to the buildup, as in other products on the market. You should also notice the freedom from voids in this product. No matter how careful the preparation, some bleeding can occur. If you're not using Kerr's Expacil, I urge you to give this product a try. Apply it in the affected area, but do not try to force it below the tissue. Pat it into place with a micro brush, wait three or four minutes, and rinse thoroughly. The bleeding is stopped, the tissue is retracted, and there is no black tissue staining. The full shoulder is my crown preparation of choice. I can see my margins and know when my impression is accurate, but I absolutely insist on ending the margin on sound tooth structure. Here I see a small amount of composite material on the mesial floor. It must be removed before taking the impression. This close-up view shows how beautifully the photocore buildup blends with the tooth for a clean and detailed preparation. After taking the impression, we can see the nice detail of the prep and the lack of any voids. 
Be sure to lubricate the photocore buildup before using a composite temporary material to avoid having the temporary bond to it. You can avoid bubbles in your temporary by keeping the tip of the syringe into the impression while loading the material. This is a simple and fast method of making a temporary. It gives an accurate fit and requires a minimum of bite adjustment. Once again, be sure to lubricate the photocore buildup before using a resin-based temporary cement. I can now send the patient home confident that the photocore buildup will provide optimum strength and longevity. Two weeks later, we have seated the crown and you can see the beautiful finished results. Pat came into our office complaining of pain and bleeding gums caused by food impacting behind the upper left second bicuspid. She had a porcelain fused a metal crown with a distal open contact with three millimeter gingival recession. This tooth had a root canal filling placed several years earlier. We decided to remove and replace the crown after placing a post and core buildup. This is an ideal indication for using the Spiropost system from Zenith DMG and Curare's core buildup system. Dual cure, self-etched, clear fill DC bond for post cementation and a dual cure composite clear fill DC core auto mix for the core buildup. A preliminary impression is taken using template from clinician's choice in a disposable tray so that we can easily make our provisional restoration after the prep. Once the rubber dam is in place, we can safely remove the porcelain and metal crown using a great white burr from SS White in the electric handpiece. This combination is fast, quiet, and vibration free. Now that the crown is removed, we can see the old buildup and recurring decay. Notice also the inflammation caused by the persistent food impaction. The buildup material is removed and the gutta percha filling can be seen. The Spiropost system from Zenith DMG comes with a gate slidden burr for gutta percha removal and as you can see it works very efficiently. Leave the apex sealed with gutta percha. Once the canal is prepared to the proper depth, a tapered spiral post is selected. You can see this system is ideally suited for this technique. The spiral post consists of numerous composite fibers surrounding a thin metal core. The fiber forms the integral bond to both dual cure core composite and the canal wall. The post is placed into the canal Cut the length, leaving a small amount occlusally to allow the core material to bond to it, forming the buildup. We will be using Curare's Clear Fill DC Core Automix. Its dual cure capability when used with a dual cure self etched adhesive for dentin bonding, Clear Fill DC Bond, makes it ideal for root canal post cementation. The canal is dried and DC bond is placed and allowed to set for 20 seconds. Then it is dried and light cured for 20 seconds. If the canal is too deep to air dry, I suggest that a paper point be used to remove the excess bonding agent. The post is now ready to be cemented. I really like the superior handling and working time which allows me to apply the material to the post, then to the canal using the small intraoral tip without being rushed. The dual cure capability assures a complete bond in the canal. I can now add additional DC core auto mix composite to the occlusal portion of the spiral post without using a core matrix. 
material flows into all of the fibers and stays where it is needed. No voids and no sticking to the instrument. I light cure for 20 seconds from each side to produce a rapid set allowing for immediate preparation of the core. The cured core cuts just like Denton, give me a solid feel against the diamond burr. Notice the smooth cut and the absence of voids. Remember, I did not use a matrix or a core form. I'll complete the preparation using a full shoulder margin finishing on solid tooth structure. A good impression of a smooth preparation on a buildup with no voids assures a good final result. It is important to lubricate the DC core before making the composite temporary to avoid permanently bonding the temporary to the core. I'm using Carmex on a micro brush. It's a little trick that'll save you a lot of frustration. The temporary material is dispensed directly into the preliminary impression and inserted to place for 60 seconds. The tray is removed and the temporary is ready to adjust and cement. Even the best of us find a void in a temporary once in a while. No problem. Curari's Clear Fill Majesty Flow to the rescue. An inner oral tip easily reaches a small hole and flow solves the problem in no time. Light cure and complete the polishing. If you use a resin temporary cement, don't forget to lubricate the preparation before cementing. Curare's Clear Fill DC Core Auto Mix has made this complicated procedure a piece of cake.